welcome back to my blind let's play of Undertale. It's me, Jerupidus, and in the last episode, we met Dr. Alphys, a uh, monster who seems to have a bit of a crush on us, but she gave us a new cell phone that does all kinds of uh, cool new things. We have access to more box space. It's really sweet. Now, one thing I want to talk about really quick before I get started is I have a bunch of thoughts about Undyne. Undyne basically hasn't left my mind in the past couple of days. And the reason why is because it occurred to me that the speech Undyne gives you uh, before you begin the battle with her really reminds me of the speech that, like, the main character of an RPG should give, where she's battling you in the spirit of defending all of her friends and, you know, refuses to give up. It's really incredible, and I feel bad that I accidentally killed her in combat, but the way that that ends up playing out just kind of stays with you and is really well written. So I'm gonna not beat myself up too much over my mistakes, but I just wanted to get that thought out of my head because I think it's really cool, really original, and really surprising writing. So let's get back to exploring this magma chamber. Alphys updated the status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, LMAO. <laughs> All right, so will this kind of leap us over that way? We'll find out in a minute, I suppose. A Sunder Plane. Not on purpose or anything. All right. Uh, let's approach it. We get close to the Sunder Plane, but not too close. Eh, human. Okay. Smells like an airport perfume counter. I do know that smell, in fact. Now it's kind of blushing, so let's try flirting. We tell Sunderplane it has a powerful rudder. Huh, you, you sicko. <laughs> now it's bombing us. Oh, wow. And they burst when they hit the ground? This is crazy. Okay. Sunderplane accidentally bumps you with its wing. Oh, uh, let's try flirting again. Nice turbines, Sunderplane. And it calls us a sicko again. Oh, man, look at this. Shakes its nose dismissively at us. Okay. We'll try uh, approaching again. That seemed to be more favorable. We get close, but not too close. All right, this is just the uh, sort of healing item one. Okay. All right, finally we can mercy. Let's get out of here. 60 gold for that. Now, one thing I am curious about is how close we're getting to that thousand to send the Temi to college. But, I mean, we need 130. We have that in items, so we may be interested in revisiting it uh, sooner than later. Okay, as I thought, it kind of launches us over. Um, let's head north, I think. Alpha's updated status. Oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. She's so nervous to talk to us. And finally, she calls. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. This is very... <laughs> very juvenile stuff, doctor. Doctor's calling again. Uh, hi. So, the blue lasers... Uh, I mean, Alphys here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, uh, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye. All right, so I guess if I just keep walking, these won't hurt me? <laughs> she updated the status. Oh my god, I did it. Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Okay. And then when the blue one moves, we have to walk up and stop. Okay. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? <laughs> Alright, I think we got it. Alright, run for it. What is this? It's a switch. Sure, let's try pressing it. Ah, that makes walking back much easier. Okay. 
and Elf has updated the status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. <laughs> I think we can figure it out. She posted a picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. <laughs> she honestly seems kind of cool. Okay, so this is gonna kind of fling us in the direction the arrow is pointing. Uh, Alf is here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. Okay. I, I think you should g g go to the right first. All right, thanks, Alphys. We will do that. Ooh, and who are these cool guys? Alphys updated status. I wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Yes, that would be a little unfun, but honestly, progress is progress. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Yeah, that was actually me. But you know what? Uh, it was it was CGI. We'll just let him believe that. Metaton, yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. <laughs> Same. All right, look at this guy. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. <laughs> Maybe they don't. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay. I guess I'm not quite sure what's going on here yet, but let's uh, give it a try anyway. Okay, so I've got to... Get it out of the way. Will this work, or will these block it? Ah, uh, so I, o I, can I only have a... Uh... Here we go. Congratulations. All right, uh, did that solve it? Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. <laughs> Guilty. All right, well, let's try the one on the left then. Uh, I guess we can talk to these guys and see if they have anything new to say. No. Okay. So I think... Oh, I can land before it. Okay. And let's try the puzzle out over here. And Alphys is calling. Alphys here. Th that blue laser seems totally impassable. B -b but... As the royal scientist, I ha have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll ha hack into the, the Hotland laser database and take it out. All right, thank you. That's actually really helpful. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. <laughs> and what about this cool guy with the skateboard? We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. You always really hope for that, like a snow day or something, you know? So this looks like more of the same, but let's check out the note. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. And let's see how many bullets we've got this time. Just two. So I can only have one in the way. Uh, this looks somewhat promising. Yeah, there we go. Oh. All right, let's get out of here. And now we want to head up. Sweet, let's keep going. Alpha's updated status. Whatever, I'll just explain it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's calling. Uh, I think, um... Hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh, you already solved them? We sure did. Awesome. Yeah, that's only gonna make her crush on us worse, I think. And where have we ended up? 
It's completely dark. So Alphys is calling again. H hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh, man. And oh, no, she says. Oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premier cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens, because we've got a very special recipe for you today. I hope it's not, like, cook human. We're going to be making a cake. Okay. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Okay, I think I see those already. Go for it, sweetheart. So here are the eggs. Milk, and that looks like sugar. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. I knew it, a human soul. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's Alphys. Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here, chainsawing a human to death, you know? Well, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different, non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? <laughs> vegan. Uh, well, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. MTT brand has everything. The can of which is just over on that counter. Oh, I don't trust that at all. <laughs> well, darling, why don't you go get it? Uh, I mean, I guess I have to. But can I check some other things first? And Alphys calls, um, is it a really good idea to be getting a snack? Well, I guess I really shouldn't judge you. After all, I'm the one eating potato chips in my PJs. Uh, I mean, hey, go over to the right. I do like that this sort of laser beam is blocking us. And what about the microwave? Still fiddling with that microwave, eh, darling? Can't blame you for being totally enamored with an electronic box. Yep. And what about the stove? It's the oven. Looks like someone forgot to preheat it. Could we preheat it for them? Apparently not. All right, let's go fall into this trap. <laughs> what the? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. All right, let's get to it. And Alphys is calling again. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. F -f Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Oh, sweet. Watch this. We get a jetpack? That's so awesome. There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Ah, I see, and we gotta avoid stuff. It doesn't seem like I need to hold up or anything, so we'll just, uh, do our best to avoid all these. This is more my speed when it comes to, uh sort of bullet hell shooters. So I would feel pretty embarrassed if I don't succeed at this. Uh, pretty handily, I would say. I grew up playing these kinds of games, so... We'll see, though. <laughs> Famous last words, you know. Ooh, 
took a little one there. Ooh, another one, okay. But we made it. My, my. It seems you've bested me. But only because you have the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's true, Alphys has kind of been the MVP lately. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Okay, well, we didn't even need to go pick it up. And Alphys is calling again. Wow, we we did it. We we really did it. Great job out there, team. W well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Great idea. Let's keep going indeed. Why don't we go ahead and save up here? An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Yeah, this is an ominous structure. Let's go check it out. And it's Alphys again. So, see that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by... Uh, anyway, <laughs> I won't bore you with the details of how that works. That's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Oh man, this is getting exciting. I feel like we're kind of getting close to at least meeting Asgore face to face. And here's the elevator. I really love... Let's just go back for just a sec. I love the way they do this stuff where they kind of give you this little preview uh, from a nearby precipice of like the next area you're going. It's so awesome. This is just beautiful pixel art. Okay, <laughs> now that I'm done gushing about that, let's see if we can take the elevator. Please select a location. All right, so we have left floor one, right floor two. Those are our only options. I guess let's pick left first. And see where that leads us. Okay, so this is back at the start, right? And then the uh, water cooler will be right over here, okay. Interesting. So, that does give me the opportunity. I have 878 gold. Here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to run back to Temi Village. And uh, see if we can't pay for their college. Because I will run into a few random encounters on the way. And I really want to find out what happens if I do that. So, I think we'll go ahead and get in some random encounters in that nearby room. And then uh, I'll cut to when I've got enough money, and we'll see what happens when we pay for Temi College. Okay, so we have close to enough money. Um, let's check that out right now. We've got about 950 uh, gold, and I've decided I think I'm comfortable selling the ballet shoes because I'm fine with having... Right, 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 I gotta grab it from the box. I'm fine with having a worse weapon because I'm not interested in killing anything, despite the fact that I've managed to do that a couple of times. Um, and having the weapon still grants me the extra invincibility, so I think that's a good compromise. So we'll sell the ballet shoes. And let's send Temi to college. Whoa! That's a lot of months. Can Tem really accept? Okay, Tem go to college and make you prouds. What the? <laughs> you forgot your face, Temmy. Tem back from cool leg. Tem learned many things. Learned to sell new item. Yeah, yeah. So, what new item? Whoa, Temmy armor? Makes battles too easy. I mean, 9,000 is so much. That would be pretty sick. It's 20 defense. Um, unfortunately, I sincerely doubt we'll ever be able to afford it. But I did want to see what would happen. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm glad that we got to send Temi to college, though. Now, why don't we go ahead and get back to where we were. 
<laughs> you feel something you're filled with determination. All right, so we're back to Hotland, and why don't we go ahead and get back in the elevator and take the right path this time. So right floor one is probably where we were, so why don't we try right floor two? And who's this? Heh! <laughs> I'm a Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. Alright, I will. Hey, it's Sans. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 gold. I mean, we have about exactly that much. Let's do it. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. That's a pretty cool thing to say. Let's check it out. Hot dog? <laughs> Heals 20 HP. The quote-unquote meat is made of something called a quote-unquote water sausage. Okay, fair enough, but it's good to have a healing item. Toasty bun. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? That is weird. Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. I mean, considering the fact that this place evaporated the water out of our cup and the cup itself, that is quite remarkable, in fact. And Alphys has posted a picture. Dinner with the girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. I see. That was the cat girl figurine from on her desk. It's a little sad, but Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. And it's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Him and his friend. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. You know what? This is the best piece of social media I've ever seen. It's infinitely better than social media in real life, I can tell you that much. So Pyro bounds towards us. Boy, do I want to heat him up or cool him down? Let's invite him first. You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. Oh man, what do I do? Oh, I have to be moving. I see. I did pretty poorly there, but that's okay. He's pretending to pull the fire alarm. Sounds like he wants to heat up then. You crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter. Okay, this time we got this. Oh. This one is actually really hard. Crank up the thermostat again. It's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. And look at the heat effect on the text. It's so cool. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter. This is... Oh my god. This is a new one. The room is sweltering. All right. Time to mercy. Wow, we already just took so much damage. Let's eat our hot dog. <laughs> You eat the hot dog and recover 20 HP, all right. And Alphys updated the status. LOL, cool skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? I don't think it's a joke. Cool skeleton updated status. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. And what's going to be south? What is that? Napsablook has sent us a friend request. Let's definitely accept. Oh yeah. It seems to have already rejected itself. Naps to blue. Oh. <laughs> There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Of course I will. The stained apron, and let's check it out. Stained apron, uh, defense 11. Heals 1 HP every other turn. That seems amazing. Let's put that on. Because with our weapon, we still get the... Uh, in invincibility bonus, um, it's a little more minor now, but healing 1 HP every other turn seems actually really good. And extra defense is nice, because our defense took a huge hit. And the phone rings. H Hi, it's Dr. Alphys. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing-based. You see those switches over there? I do. 
You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds, okay? I'll try to help you with the rhythm. So, we gotta, like... Okay, now press the third one. <laughs> Thanks, Elphys. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Okay, great. Perfect, let's keep going. All right, what do we have here? So south only heads towards us, so let's go up. And Elphys updated uh, their status. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle, LMAO. Uh, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately the phone rings. Uh, hey! I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm, I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Alright, I kind of think I can too. Alright, so when I land on the switch, it changes the direction, but if I step off the switch... Okay, I can't step off. Yeah, and that puts it back. Okay. Okay, so I definitely can't go that way, so it must be south. And I guess I gotta go south again. This one lets me pick any direction, so let's go this way. And let's try up again. No, every time I land on that, it switches away. Huh. So, okay, I got an idea. And we need to step on another switch before we get there. So how about this one? Yeah, and then back around. Okay, cool. No, it... <laughs> okay. What if I go... So that didn't work. Because I land here and that switches it back. So I need it to be facing right when I head that way. Alright, well I've been messing with this for a while and I can't figure it out. So it occurs to me maybe we should try calling our friends and see if they can't help. Let's call Papyrus first. So the arrows flip when you do what? I can't visualize this puzzle at all. Can you draw a picture? Then hold it up to the receiver. <laughs> Thanks, Papyrus. And let's try... Uh... Oh, I can't call uh, Alphys because she is MIA right now. All right, well, let's keep trying it, I guess. I can't believe it took me this long to wrap my mind around this. Uh, well, there we go. And Alphys updated their status. Oh my god, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? LOL, that's a joke, right? Yeah, the sequel is never better. Just never. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Let's go ahead and save up. And I think that's going to be all the time I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.